Hey there, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and today I'm going to do a quick look at the Jin Hao 159, one of the largest and heaviest and most affordable fountain pens that I have ever seen. For only $12.50, it has to be one of the best weight for your dollar pens that you can get out there if you like big heavy pens. Not everybody does, and that's totally cool, but for those of you that do, definitely check this one out. It's available in three different colors, black, orange, and yellow. And the orange and yellow is a very recent addition that Jin Hao has just come out with. And I believe I'm one of the first to announce it with this video. So I'm pretty excited about that. It uses a large number six size nib. We have it available at GouletPens.com in a medium size. That's the only size that we have available. Though the neat thing about it is that because it's that universal, fairly universal number six size, you can fit a Goulet nib or some other brands that might have nibs as well in that size to get more of a nib variety. And because the pen's so affordable, you can, you, know, you can get an extra nib and it's not gonna break the bank, uh, give you lots of options there. The only nib that is gonna give you some trouble that I've tried anyway, I've tried Goulet nibs in here, they swap just fine. Other nibs like Edison and Twisby and stuff like that that are number six size will fit in this pen. The only one that's been giving me trouble is the Noodler's Flex nib. So I would not recommend trying this one in here. It's gonna give you trouble anyway because the feed is not made to keep up with the flow of this Flex nib. It just doesn't fit quite right. You have to really jam it in there. So I wouldn't try the Noodler's nib in this pen. It is a stainless steel nib, and it's kind of weird because if you look at the engraving on it, it says 18K GP on it. That's what all the Jin Hao nibs say, and the reason for that is some of their two-tone nibs have gold plating on them to give it the two-tone look. Well, it's stamped before they do the plating, so on the stainless steel non-two-tone ones like they have on the 159, they end up having that 18K GP, even though there's no actual gold plating, so it's a little confusing, but it's a 12 dollar and 50 cent pen so you just kind of get over it realize that it's a stainless steel nib and you'll be okay it is a screw thread cap so it unscrews like that and it pushes to post on the back and it posts fairly securely the balance of the pen in your hand is uh, what I would just call heavy it's heavy in the front it's heavy in the back it's heavy in the middle the whole thing is just heavy it weighs 50 grams which is just insane um, so it definitely is not the kind of pen that you're gonna want to use if you like to use these light acrylic pens and just all that if you want a pen that really makes you feel like you have something in your hand this is the pen for you and if you open it up, it's got a uh, Jin Hao converter that comes in the pen, which is actually a fairly decent converter, especially for this price. Um, and you can pull this out. You can put a, you know, non-branded, I guess, standard international cartridge converter in here. It will also fit. You can also use standard international short or long cartridges. They will all fit inside this pen. It's hard to deny that the design of the Jin Hao 159 is very strongly inspired by the Mont Blanc 149. They are very similar in size. Of course, the Mont Blanc is going to be nicer. Um, it's a piston filling pen. It's got a gold nib and all that stuff. But when you consider that the 149 cost about 70 or 80 times the cost of a Jin Hao 159, you can determine for yourself which one is a better value for you. And then to give you an idea of the size of this pen, I have another very popular pen, the Pilot Metropolitan, next to the Jin Hao 159. The Metropolitan is a pretty medium-sized pen, I would say, and you can see next to it just how big the 159 is, especially when I post them. Pretty massive difference, especially at the grip and the cap. It weighs you know, two to three times as much. It's quite a difference. For $12.50, you may not have high expectations for the way that this pen would write, but it's surprisingly decent. It's fairly smooth. It's not gonna be the best performing nib you've ever used, but if you keep your expectations fairly reasonable, I think you'll be pretty pleased with how this Jin Hao nib performs right off the pen. So that's my quick look at the Jin Hao 159. Pretty decent pen, great bang for the buck. What I like to dub is my fake it till you make it pen. Hope you like this video. If you want more details on the 159, you can check it out on GouletPens.com. Or if you like this video and you want more like it, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and right on.